Hey guys, train guy here. Just uh, working away on the uh, bokash right now, uh, getting the rock laid down. Just on camera right now, you can see is this is some previously uh, laid down rock. It's uh, now hardened. It's uh, been colored, uh, or sorry, the color's been enhanced by the uh, glaze that the the glue leaves. So um, next stage is going to be putting down the wire mesh in here, um, then building up the foliage. As you can see, I don't lay it uh, across the top at all. I kind of build up that centimeter, basically, that centimeter, centimeter and a half uh, black line you painted. That's basically your guide for laying the rock down. So it's, it works, it's got a dual purpose. It gives you that shadow. And of course, if you're using it as a shadow, you want to keep your rock uh, over the shadow. Uh, I bring the green right up into the rock because the grass is actually going to come in there. Don't need to lay perfect lines either. Um, you can kind of see off camera here, sorry. Um, I've laid out this little spur coming out here. That's just to give it a little, uh, a little um, character. I do that uh, several places. I'll just show you back here too. Um, I've just laid a little bit of uh, rock off the bocage. This is not um, something that I plan to do. It's just kind of as I'm building, I just feel, oh, okay, well maybe they came down here and um, it trailed off here, or maybe this pile hasn't been thrown on here yet, or maybe this is uh, rocks have been accumulated in the field and they've just been collecting and gathering there. Um, just kind of put a backstory on everything, just to uh, justify why you're doing things. So, uh, what I wanted to show you too is just how I get uh, the rock prepared. You've all seen the uh, the washing video. Um, that's just me washing the rock. Uh, once the rock's washed and dried, throw it in a tub. Um, I would throw in some glue and then I start mixing up. This is a basically what your rock should look like when you start putting it down. You're going to think like, wow, that's a lot of glue and that'll never clear. And uh, But I assure you, this is this is the same stuff, the same technique as how I laid this down. And I think the end result of that is, is pretty nice. You don't see any white. There's no um, white um, accumulated in the corners or anything. And then when you lay it down on your uh, hedgerow, it looks like that. So gives you a nice effect overall. So if it looks like this, don't panic. That's what it should look like. All right, so now I'm just going to lay it down along here. I'm just going to chat as I do that. Um, you may get in a situation, let me just show you this here, get in a situation where your seams run right along uh, where your bocage is. So obviously I can't put rock here because it'll fall down. So what I do is actually lay the rock on one side and then bring it up here and I leave a little gap and I kind of do a, an overage of the rock to blend and what I mean by that is right here I did that it ran on this side of the seam and then over here so right where the two meet I actually ran this one a little longer and this one right there then when I bring the foliage down it kind of just looks like it jets in as opposed to having um, the rock uh, make a big or have a gap in the rock so there you go that's where it separates that's where it goes together and when I lay the foliage down be no problem so uh, you can easily just avoid having your uh, seams or your rock end on a seam I didn't really worry about it because I, I know how to kind of hide it and another reason too when you get good at things or when you get good at doing this um, if you have features on your seams um, if you know how to do it right, it's a great way to hide your seam because when this rock's here and the rock's on here, this section of the seam, you will not see at all. It won't be seen as a seam. So I try to get rid of seams by hiding them under features. It's a little more difficult, but when you uh, feel comfortable doing it, I'd start doing it as much as you can. All right, so let's get you in a position where you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. So... I suggest as you're working too to occasionally or frequently I guess as opposed to occasionally frequently stir your uh, your rock so it doesn't get uh, stuck together and basically I use a tongue depressor and a um, popsicle stick help me out I grab out some I just start throwing it down kind of like you're scooping out ice cream but I guess this would be rocky road it's a bad joke um, so I lay it down, like I said, I use that centimeter that I painted black as my guide. And I just start pushing it in. I lay it down with the, pot, the uh, tongue depressor and then I just start manipulating it with, uh, with the uh, popsicle stick. 
You don't want to press it too much because if you press it, it kind of squirts out here and there. But you do want to ta uh, sort of tamp it in to get a little bit of a bond. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to come up over the uh, the um, foam at all. You just basically need to lay it down along the edge. And like I said, put those spurs in there. Have them jut out here and there. And the less rock you use, the lighter weight. If you're not worried about weight, then go to her with the rock. But at some point, you're going to reach uh, a level where you're really just wasting rock. You're putting on more than you're ever going to see or use. I used to do that when I started. I used to use a ton of rock. I'd do the whole thing, mount it right over, and then I'd end up covering 85% of the rock. So it just added a lot of bulky weight to it, and it just was a waste of rock. Rock's cheap, but if you uh, maybe you can't get it, maybe it's not readily available, so you can't go around wasting it. Now on the ends uh, down here, I don't like to leave a lot of hard, sharp ends. Here I did, uh, only because I wanted to main keep this gap. Here I got a lot more room, so what I'm actually going to do is give a little character. I really like to trail off the ends. I like to put a little character, a little stylistic uh, um, touch on the end. So this one here I'm just going to wrap out a little bit, have a long uh, tail. And then when I do the foliage, it'll actually kind of just go up on top of that and leave a nice little spur of rock and foliage. There you go. What you do want to try to avoid is having holes that you get. So I always constantly go along, make sure I can't see straight down through. It will just be black because it's base coated back black, but if you can avoid the holes, then it makes it uh, a lot more, uh, I think, uh, word I'm looking for. It looks a lot nicer, essentially. So, just working with the rock, laying them down here and there. Come to an edge. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, because it's just a long, tedious process. I will come back and show you at the end. When you get to the edge, put your rocks as close as you can to the edge. Then, lay your rock over here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work this way give this a second to kind of dry up a little bit then I'll come back and lay my rock. If you lay the rock together while both are really really sticky um, it's just going to be a nightmare trying to keep that border between so I'll work this way for a while come back here when this is dry then lay down some more wet rock so it's, un it's less likely to stick to that uh, seam that I got there. So off I go, you notice here I painted it black but I'm not actually using it because I sort of turned that spur out this way, that's fine you can put a little green paint down there or you can just forget about it and then lay your grass right over top of it. You're going to have a little darker patch there, but it's just going to look like a shadow from this anyway. So, not going to be an issue. So, let's do a little bit more. No sense in making this video really, really long. Like I said, it's the same process over and over. The only troublesome parts are the seams. And I told you kind of how to do those. So. Yeah, so lay your rock down, kind of working around the camera here, and then sort of spread it out as you go. And the rock being non-uniform is going to help you out when it comes to stylizing the sides here. And it's going to do the work on making it look unique and different. You basically just have to manipulate it into a position. Various sizes of the rocks will also help with that. And if you get a rock that falls out into your uh, into your grass area, and you like where it lands, just leave it. No problem with doing that. All right, I'll just do up the end here, and then I'll call it quits the video, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. So again, I'm approaching a seam here. Get as close as I can to the seam without going over. There we go. And voila. So we'll come back and check it out what it looks like when it's all done.